having a hard time increasing your income? Keep watching, I'm gonna lay it out for you in easy steps. Are you in your 20s and 30s and you've been working a nine to five hustling, but your savings is still not where you think it should be and you have a hard time spending any money because you don't really have it? Do you have that nagging desire that you deserve more than what you're earning right now? And if so, maybe it's time for you to come up with new ways to make a little bit extra cash. Here are four ways to increase your income. My name is Munif Ali and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s and I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars in sales. I started making videos to share my life experience so I could teach others to become successful and financially responsible. If you like the content that I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video and share it with people who might think that this content is useful. Probably one of the simplest, but not always the easiest ways to earn more money is getting a raise. This is perhaps the best and most sustainable method to increase your income. And if you like your job, but you've been working really hard and doing a lot of extra hours with your company, you probably deserve a raise. But you can't just come into your boss's office and ask for a raise, but you need to prepare first and think about what you bring to the table as far as your skills, your accomplishments, what extra tasks you've been handling. And then you have to pitch it to your boss. You just can't walk in and demand a raise. So make sure it's compelling that you show your value to the company. And aside from making a compelling pitch, you'll get to increase your chances of having a raise by scheduling a discussion or after accomplishing a big task. This shows that you're serious about the raise and acting more professionally, helping your supervisor or boss actually listen. Also keep in mind that timing is crucial. Check the situation in the office. Ask yourself, is it a good time to ask for a raise? Keep in mind that asking for a raise Chances are you're not always gonna get one the first time around, so you should be mentally prepared for that as well. And remember, you don't wanna walk into your boss's office, ask for a raise when you've been late the whole week, when you haven't accomplished anything, when you routinely are effing up on your projects, that's probably not the time to ask for a raise because in order, this is about side hustles, so you don't wanna lose your main hustle. You have to time this right. Because I've been talking about your main hustle, there comes a side hustle. Starting a side hustle is a great way to increase your income and with the help of the internet, it's easier than ever. The benefits from working from home are great and there are plenty of opportunities nowadays to get a part-time job or a side project first think about the skills that you have and think about the time that you have so like if you're just starting out a family and you have no time probably not the time to do it right so you want to get another job that requires you to be able to use your skills from your main one because you already have those and if not try applying for a job that's somewhere closer to your passion and maybe you have some hobbies like photography or making videos like this or anything that you have great skills in to consider your side hustle because you're gonna be spending a lot of your valuable or your free time in an endeavor like this and if it starts to stress you out you need to pick something that you're passionate about to begin with it's not just about making extra money maybe you're tired of working at an office and maybe you want to spend a little bit more time working outside and meeting people if the answer is yes and you have a car and you're not particularly using it all the time consider driving for uber or any of the on-demand type of apps out there you know it'll get you out you have an office job and now you get to meet people on your side hustle this could be a great way to ensure that you're using all of your skills and some of your passions and if you're unsure what your real skills are start to take an online survey like swag bucks or opinion outpost to help you find a suitable side job or side hustle for those of us who want to remain at home but still want an additional income source try creating passive income streams and I know you're like okay well I don't know how to do that but these are creative based incomes or products that you can mostly upload to the internet think of it as farming you plant a seed now and you're going to take some amount of time to reap the award these type of gigs are generally tasks like writing or publishing an ebook, uploading digital photography or sites like Shutterstock where you can take pictures and start to upload them. If you have a blog or a website or if you could utilize affiliate income, think about where your expertise is. You could definitely do this. There's people, thousands if not millions of people that get side hustles that are just like that. If you want less of that virtual type of setup, you could try piggyback income streams like putting ads uh, on the side of your car. If you have an extra room, you could try renting it out to Airbnb. Airbnb. There's an upcoming app that allows you to rent out your extra space at home. It's called Storage. You could try that if you have extra, you know, big closet or space.
space underneath your garage or in your basement. Passive income streams are not exactly the type of gig that give you a lot of money, but it'll definitely help out for a couple hundred bucks and you know gas is rising, so maybe it'll help you with that. Passive income streams are perfect for people who want a stress-free income. They're pretty low on energy output as well, so you can go ahead and try multiple sources. Maybe you have a knack of baking or you like to sell things online. What you do is start a small business and first of all, be mindful, don't overwhelm yourself when you're starting out a small business, but don't think about the stress of serving 100 customers someday just yet. Just stick to what you know and check how much you can spend with your money. Some of these resources are gonna require you to spend a little upfront cash as well, but it's always best done with a little bit of a business plan. It's important to have something that defines your business, your product, and helps you focus on your goals. So let me ask you, what are the services and products needed in your local area? Business is about creating solutions for people. With a business plan, you'll be able to hash out the details of your business from inceptions all the way up to after sales. And it's also important to make a worst case scenario if things don't go well. Remember, these are only side gigs. And that's why I recommend starting very small so you don't have to worry about going bankrupt or anything like that just because you were careless with your supposed extra income. If you like baking, for example, start selling some to your friends and family and neighbors. If you have other things, you know, start out with your sphere of influence, the people that you know first and scale up from there. And speaking of scaling up, don't forget that when you start to scale up a little bit beyond just being a small business, you'll need licenses and permits. And you could get some of these from the Small Business Administration itself. It's filled with information and free seminars and contracts and simple business plans if you want to learn more. Just a quick break. You know, I'm really excited about sharing this news with you. I'm giving away absolutely free a book on money management. And if you want to sign up, there's a link below and you receive a free PDF copy of my book. You're not going to get some type of ebook that everybody else has. This is 100% written for you. I've compiled all of the best resources on money management, especially to millennials who want to become future millionaires. And this book, absolutely, you're going to be amazed at how much value it's going to give you and how much time it really took me. It's my passion and I want to give it away for free. So go ahead and click that link down below. If you like this type of content, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure to that like and subscribe button. Let me and the YouTube algorithm know that this video is valuable to you. I'll bring you more content like this each and every single week. And make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know and are alerted as soon as one of these videos come out. So those four easy steps will make you a little bit of extra money for your future. And guess what? You're already on your way to make millions. These tips are great because you can access and utilize the internet and technology, and they're pretty simple to do. And with a little bit of research and preparation, you can do this. You can have a few hundred dollars extra or a few thousand dollars extra to help your household income and for you to reach your financial goals. So you have a little bit of extra time on your hands. Why not try some of these tips? Let me know which ones are working for you. And if you want to take it up a notch to have some extra riskier income, go ahead and watch this video that I made on NFTs, a beginner's guide to the complex world of NFTs. Go ahead and watch that video now.